We are starting this morning with some breaking news this morning at Chase, an armed robbery and an officer involved shooting concerning two police departments. Jess is on scene live near 55th Avenue and Happy Valley Road with the latest. Good morning, Jess. Good morning. Yeah, it all started right around 11 o'clock, a few miles away. It ended here at 55th Avenue and Happy Valley. I'll show you what the scene looks like this morning with mobile command still set up, police still investigating, and they'll be out here for several hours. Now let's show you what the scene looked like a little earlier and explain what happened. Phoenix police said one of their supervising officers was patrolling a nearby area. He noticed erratic driving, suspicious driving behaviors from a car. As he got closer, he heard what he thought was a gunshot being fired from the car. That's when the officer began to follow the suspect. He reached out to bordering police agencies. Glendale police said the same vehicle, the same suspect description about 30 minutes prior had committed an armed robbery at 59th Avenue and Cactus Road. At that point, the officer and others continued their pursuit. They used what was called a grappler to stop the car, which police say is one of the safest methods in making a felony stop. Those are assigned to vehicles that are unmarked police vehicles. And it's a netting system that actually allows them to deploy it from the front bumper of their vehicle. And then it, uh, it latches on to the rear axle and it basically immobilizes the vehicle. The idea is that we're going to have less um, collisions. It's a safer way to prevent uh, lengthy pursuits. And it was deployed in this instance. And as you can see, we were able to stop that vehicle. Now, at that time, police say the suspect lifted a gun from his lap, pointing it at a team of officers. One officer fired at the suspect, striking him. He was then transported to the hospital. He's in critical condition at this hour. There were no injuries to any officers or any community members. Police did recover a shotgun from the vehicle, and they plan to be out here for several more hours investigating. I'm live in Phoenix for Arizona's family.